All right, so everybody look up at the board. Again, off of your phone. We're going to go outside and take pictures and try to mimic this. Obviously, this person did not levitate above the ground. He was not hovering above the ground when the, the photo was taken. This is two separate pictures that have been photoshopped together. Okay? The first one is the background. That's called a plate, right? So it's the background with no nobody in it. Um, it's just, you know, the, the, the main scene right there. And then the second shot is what? What's that? Yeah, him not floating. Again, it's impossible to float. But him literally posing, probably on the ground on his, you know, on his toes, um, making, you know, pretending like he is literally levitating in the air. Okay? Um, and then in Photoshop, we can marry those two images together and make it look like it was really shot that way. Here's another example. Some weird dude. Um, He's not Spider-Man and, you know, not a overweight 40-year-old Spider-Man guy. But um, this was a pretty tough one to do. Not only, okay, the easy part is taking the background picture. Another shot is just, imagine just him rotated around just pretending like he's, he's walking there. What was hard about this? Yeah, Malcolm. The shadows, right? So... He had to think about that, these shadows right here, while he was taking the picture. So you're either gonna you're gonna uh, change that, you're gonna you know paint in shadows in Photoshop, or you can actually stick some objects to the wall uh, and get rid of those in Photoshop as well, while they are casting shadows on your background shot. I would say it would be easier. Bless you, bless you again. Um, to literally paint in the shadows in Photoshop. But that's something that you have to think about. The other thing he had to think about was the light source. So he's got these windows in the background, okay? And that means the light is coming in and he captured that perfectly with the shadows across his shirt and his pants. Like he's got the light source right there and then it gets darker and darker as it recedes. So you need to think about that. Here's another example, all right? This is not a perfectly executed picture while she was just jumping with, a, with that thing in her, in her arms, a package. Um, this was two separate shots that were put together. All right, this didn't really happen. Okay, so she took a picture of herself posing like that, probably laying on some sort of a, a a stool or a box or something like that and then she put herself into this picture here's a professional one okay again not a real picture what they, the tricky part about this was actually creating the reflection in the water so I'm gonna be showing you guys different examples of student work this is crazy to think about. Uh, the quad, that's the, that's the NPR right there before it was renovated. So it looks totally different than what you're used to right now. And we had grass all over the place right there. Um, but you can see he is putting himself into the photo and he's putting in the shadow effect beneath him, making it look like he's levitating. So what you guys are going to do today is we're going to go outside. I'm going to have like four or five different stools. Um, we're going to go out to that quad out there, and you are going to take a picture of a, a background and yourself that you're going to literally stitch together. All right, we don't have the woods, right, or anything like that. You're going to have to do it around campus. but I want you to think about the type of image you want to create, all right? So what kind of effect is it gonna be? So 
again, let me show you how this is put together. Okay, you can see the final image right here. Looks like she's floating above. The way that this was shot was with one picture with her standing on a stool. Another picture with just the background. And in Photoshop, you combine them by getting rid of this stool. You have to be careful about this because look what happened on the next image. Okay, what's wrong here? Yeah, his torso. A huge chunk of his, his midsection right there is cut out because the trash cans that he was sitting on top of right here, um, it literally cut pieces of his body out so it doesn't look real. So this is the before. After. Using Photoshop. Before. After. This might take two or even three people to pull this off. Um, depending on what you want to do, you're going to have to, uh, you know, contort your body in a certain way, or somebody's going to have to hold your hair up, right? So we have this image right here where this person is literally holding the girl's hair. This person is holding her dress right here. This person is holding her up. There's actually an artist. I can't, I don't remember um, if it's this one or somebody else, but um, he pulls this stuff off with little action figures and he literally ties them together with like fishing line, right? And has them levitate and then gets rid of the wires afterwards. So if you imagine each one of these objects was literally tied with a little fishing line and set up above. And what he did was afterwards, he got rid of the wires after he took the picture. <laughs> we have another one. Uh, we have one of Mr. May doing this in his photo lab. Again, this area is completely different now. Um, the next student actually uh, was absent, so she did this at home. That's what she was able to do. So again... Today, when we go outside, I need you to think about where the lighting is coming from, where the sun is, the shadows it's casting, because that's going to be really important to pulling this off when you guys are in Photoshop.
All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out to this quad right here, this the new one, um, and you're gonna either partner up with one other person or two, depending on you know what, you, what your needs are. And you are literally gonna talk with those one or two other people and plan out your shot. I'm gonna give you about 10 minutes to plan out your shot. Okay, after that, we're gonna have 20 minutes to actually pull off the photos. So that'll be 30 minutes total. And then I'll give you another five to email your photos to yourselves because I know the reception in this room sucks. Maybe it'll be better outside, right? Um, so tops, we're gonna to be coming back here at 9, 9.30, tops, okay? Um, I'm gonna lock the door. So um, you can leave your stuff in here, but that's, that's what we're gonna do, okay? Any questions? No? All right, cool. So let's put our stuff, um, let's put our stuff away. Let's get ready to go.